Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Core Keeper, the open alpha, which is available uh, right this very moment. I believe anybody can get access to it. I'm not entirely sure how you do so, but I wager you go to the Steam page and just request access and you'll get it immediately. Anyway, it is a uh, underground mining sandbox game. It's... Eh, honestly, I like... I like the bigger eyes. Eh, we live underground, we might as well reflect it. I don't know. I kind of like the just generic. Let's see, what hair color do we have? I mean, there's kind of like a nice plum purple. Oh, but let's go with the orange. That's a very Wanderbot orange. There we go. Shirt. Uh, how, do, how much do I want to be a tacky? Or maybe I'll do orange pants. Makes me. This makes me look like a mime. Where's my, like, dark green? Eh, I'll go with that. Um. Yeah, I'll switch my shirt color. Maybe? Maybe not. Let's switch my hair color. Let's be purple. I went past it, like, twice. There we go. Alright, this is good enough. And we're gonna be Wando. Wando. Dive in, Wando. Let's see how this goes. So... Open Alpha starts uh, today, but I will also say that the Early Access version is coming out, I think, in January? Early 2022. In a place far away from anywhere else. You are part of a group of explorers making your way through the forest. Feeling a strange presence, you notice something between the trees. Drawn to it, you approach this strange relic and raise a hand towards it. Upon touching its surface, a blinding light engulfs you. I mean, I guess it works. To some degree, it could have just been like, nope, you're here now. Question not why you are here, cave creature. But now... I am a cave creature. <laughs> I look so shifty. Well, I live here now. Alright, let's punch me some things. I, it imme Oh, this is good. Okay, this is nice. The idea of starting in almost absolute darkness and having to work my way out in this way. Like, that's neat. Tab. Craft. So I can make some... I can some, make some torches. Make this... Pickaxe. Uh, let's see. It looks like I'm out of that. So let's stack on torches for a bit. Right click. Right click. There we go. All right. Perfect. I'm just going to grab every bit of wood that we have in the immediate area. There's something to do with this. Gorm the Devourer. Okay. We'll leave that for later. I feel like he needs souls. But for now, we want to just grab everything we possibly can. Mushrooms, wood, uh, any resources that we are currently trapped in here with. Looks like I can just punch these. I was kind of hoping I could equip the pickaxe and the torch, but it's fine. Looks like we've got, actually got three of these. Oh, I wonder if these are bosses. Not available in alpha. Yeah, I bet they're separate little boss creatures that you fight. Oh, there's durability. I'll have to keep that in mind. Root seed. Ooh. I might actually want to plant that. Can I just plant it anywhere? No. So maybe I have to mess with it. Now, is this... I don't necessarily know the difference between a shovel and a pickaxe, to be honest. But I'm just gonna mine my way over here. There's something sparkly. I guess... Let's mine our way real uh, real quickly back. Just get some extra light in here instead of... Oh! My mining skill leveled up. Oh! I wonder if... Dirt wall. No. I don't actually know what the shovel is useful for. But at least for now, it's probably better that I, I use the pickaxe for this. I think it's a little faster. I could be wrong. But yeah, I love I love this feeling of expanding outwards uh, 
not being able to explore the environment immediately. It's, uh, I don't know how many of you guys have ever played Stone Block in Minecraft, but that is an incredibly fun mod pack where you, you, you essentially start in like just a small little stone, um, like a pocket of stone uh, or pocket of space inside like an infinite realm of stone. And you're slowly building your way out and using stone to effectively alchemize everything. It's really compelling, and I really enjoy playing it. Might as well grab that. Let's see what else we have here. Because this chamber is not that small. Okay. Ow. Ow. There we go. Those suckers hurt heartberry seeds. Hopefully that's something I can work with. So there's a question. Dirt ground. Can I dig down? I have no idea. I gotta I gotta put it back on the ground though. There might be a Z Z access building. For now though, let's um hmm. I don't actually really want to use that area as like my main crafting space. So I guess I'm just going to put it here. Okay, crafting furnace chest. Floor, walls. Start with a furnace and a chest. So lantern glow can be equipped offhand. Oh, I wonder if torches can. Maybe. Trash. Put this down. Okay, so we want to put in copper ore. Looks like it doesn't require any wood or fuel. It'll just kind of make its own thing. Okay, sure. Okay, cool. And I can walk over torches. I'm going to let that go for a bit. Um, What can I make in my inventory? Some more torches, clearly. Question. Doesn't look like I can do anything with that. So what can I make with this? So, four wood, two copper bar, five copper, a lot of copper. All right, so let's make this. I'm gonna take care of this. Oh, ring of stone, two set mining damage. Okay, so this increases my mining capabilities. That makes a lot of sense, actually. I'm just gonna put that there. Grab the rest of this. Let's see if we spot any sparkles. Okay. Luckily the slimes aren't too dangerous. They're pretty spooky. I have like no HP. Oh, but I did get a mushroom. Let's just eat it for a bit. I'll have to figure out how to cook in a moment. What else do we have? It looks like I just need tons of copper for everything. Well, let's go back here. I thought I saw some other sparklies. Maybe not. Yeah, I'm probably out of sparklies for a bit. Can I interact with this? It seems powered down. Okay. Guess that's a big never mind. Uh, let's pop over here. I'm just going to pop torches kind of everywhere for a bit. Just get a general idea of what I'm dealing with. And then let's just punch everything. Oh, these have fiber? Or, no, just random things in them. They're like boxes and stuff. Okay, what about you? Glow tulip. Fair enough. I'm really digging the lighting on this. It works, like, really well. Okay. And anyway, I don't want to use my pickaxe on any of this. As that would just, you know, unfortunately break it all. Okay. How am I doing food-wise? Doing okay. I appreciate that I do AoE damage. Makes my life easy. And it's pretty easy to avoid their hits. Yeah, all right, we're good. Let's start digging upwards. Whatever this is looks interesting. Holy moly, that, that extra mining damage goes a long way. 
Well, this seems kind of interesting. I guess let's break that. I don't know what that did. Oh. Let's switch back to the pickaxe. Pretty sure I'm not going to get anything terribly useful. Stone bricks. Oh, we got some iron ore out of that. I'll take it. Okay, I'm seeing a little bit of sparkles. Oh, and even auto switches pickaxes. That honestly makes a lot of sense. Wow. Okay, this goes a lot faster. Okay, how much damage do I do in melee? I might just punch them. Ow. Alright, eat a mushroom. There we go. Oh, I've even got a melee stat. Of course I would. Ow. Hurts. It's fine. Okay, so what do we got here? A lot of bad. I want to get enough copper that I can actually get the sword. I wonder if there's a dodge roll. Probably isn't. Not that I really need it too much. Okay. Pretty sure I saw a sparkly here. Yep. This might be the only sparkly that I get, though. Onwards. I will say... I do appreciate that there are pockets of things. That, you know... I'm bringing up stone block, but the only similarity is kind of the... The isolated start. There's much more of a feeling of exploration here. Um, but I... I really appreciate the feeling of having to carve your own space out of a location. Not a lot of games really do that particularly well. And games that do, uh, it's a special feeling, I guess. I actually have a torch out. No sense in me running around in absolute darkness, making people upset at me. I don't want to say I have pretty good dark vision, but I'm used to playing games in, in dark conditions. Uh, to save resources or otherwise. And, uh, I've got a number of complaints about this habit. It's not great. Can I break this? No. We have dark caveling floor, but that's not really that helpful. Let's see if I got enough copper just kind of being out and about. I did. So what else we got? Root seed, heartberry seed, bomb pepper seed. Bomb pepper. Oh, glow tulip. Interesting. Bomb peppers hurt you if you eat it. Fair. Okay, uh, so what can I make? There's the watering can. We haven't really figured out how to farm yet. Oh, copper hoe, of course. Uh, let's start with that, because it feels like farming has some interesting potential. Pepper. Let's do root seeds. And, nope. And a heartberry seed. Okay, can I just... I'm just gonna do this for the time being. Eventually I'm gonna want to expand this into something bigger. But for now, this is fine. Let's put away all the wood. Ancient gemstones? I don't even know what those are useful for. Alright, now I've got eight. So, I'm going to need the watering can. I'm going to want the lantern. And the sword is going to go a very far away. There's also cooking and a couple other things. Ooh, We're going to need a lot of copper. I'm going to start with the lantern. Good or bad idea? This way I don't have to constantly make torches. So I'll at least kind of know where I'm going. I'm probably just going to go in directions until I see a sparkle. Or enter a cavern. I'm actually seeing quite a lot of sparkles out here. Alright. So my choice to just go in a direction was correct. Eventually I'd like to probably have some kind of shaft-based mining system, uh, where I just kind of go in a direction and, and really just grab everything. I'd probably just go up, down, left, and right, kind of on the regular. It's 
else we want to go here? This looks interesting. Okay, well, we have enough copper. Let's go get a sword next. Because I want to get... Hmm, do I want to get the pot? Maybe? Let's just... Well, we're here. Because I don't want to confront that slime for a bit. Alright, I see a bit of sparkle on the left. Let's just get over here. Oh, that's a shame. There's no music. Okay, I might as well light this up. It doesn't look like it can fall into the water, at the very least. I actually really like the look of that water. It looks really nice. Okay, here's a bunch more copper. Let's just destroy all for a bit. Okay, looks like we're good. Back we go. Okay, so this will give me enough coppers so I can make... Let's start with the watering can. Oh, heck yeah. Now that I know where water is. There we go. Okay, so in that case, if I have a reasonable source of water, I'm gonna I'm gonna create a much more like direct channel. It doesn't look like enemies are respawning on me either. So that gives me a lot more kind of space to just build out safely and without fear. Perfect. Yeah, let's just let's just have kind of a nice little water pool that I can get access to. I'll probably move my farming chambers up here. Okay, so next up, take the rest of this. We want to make, we want to make a sword. I'm going to make a second pickaxe. There we go. Feeling good about this. Eat another mushroom. There was a slime out here. Oh, up. Uh, Wow, these things are a little tougher than I was expecting they would be. Alright. Time to contend with many slime. There we go. Ow. Apparently popped over a little too soon. Looks like there's a big old slime colony of some variety. Oh, nope, that ain't it. There we go. I don't have to worry about too much. These mushrooms will sustain me while I'm here. And then hopefully I can get some more. Let's, uh, let's get ourselves some proper light. There we go. Not only will the mushrooms sustain me, they will protect me. Ain't that handy. Oh, the reflections on the water look really nice. some other games like this recently but I think this this one is definitely the furthest along that I've seen just in terms of like what you can do and just kind of I don't want to say like build quality I mean it is build, build quality to some degree wow actually I can just mine these with my hands that ring goes a long way that's why I don't have to worry about Pickaxe durability to the same extent. It does cost me some time. That's the one downside. Oh, it might almost cost me some more food. But considering how many of these I have... I think I might want to leave the big mushroom alone. There we go. Oh, that sound effect. I've definitely heard that, like, weird squelch as it dies sound effect before. Okay, the lack of music is getting to me a little bit. It's fine. I understand why a developer wouldn't have music for this level. There we go. I'm just going to punch my way through. This is another bomb pepper. Which is not the most helpful. Oh, right. The music, of, of course, immediately turns on when it does. It's fine. I'm just going to keep it off. I'd be much more into the music if, you know, it actually 
played. Wait, that ring that we picked up? Very useful. I don't even remember what dropped it. It was probably just random enemy. Glad, I'm certainly glad they did. All right, let's go back. Oh, putting my, <laughs> my cursor on myself is a little wiggy. That's yeah, fine. Okay, let's, uh, let's check our crops. Are they growing? Hard to tell. I think they've got to be, right? Did not get as much out of that as I was hoping I would. Okay, a uh, question. What can you even make next? Oh, tin workbench. I wonder what the copper bar is here. Let's go to this for a second. See anything else? Bomb pepper seeds. Probably useful. Let's see. Where do we want to go next? I mean, I've kind of been going just various directions. I very much appreciate that I've leveled my running skill. I grew up a little bit with Morrowind and Elder Scrolls and whatnot. And one thing I really liked about those was kind of the feeling of like, hey, the more you do something, the better you are at it. Uh, that little feeling of progression goes a long way in a game. And I've always wanted more games to kind of follow that. You know, it doesn't even have to be particularly extensive. Just, you know, minor things. You can even have regular RPG mechanics. But, you know, say, say if you're somebody that is, like, uh, a wizard. You know, level 3, you learn fire. Or level 3. Well, I guess it depends on which kind of wizard we're talking about. But, you know, imagine you learn the fireball spell. Well, you learn the kind of base level fireball spell. But if you use it like a gazillion times, eventually you get really good at using the fireball spell. And, you know, that might only be reflected with like a, a small bonus, you know, a plus one, plus two, something to that extent. But little stuff like that goes a long way. And making you feel like, yeah, I'm I'm intentionally kind of building a character here. As opposed to what a lot of games do, which is just kind of like... You're a level 3 wizard. You've learned... Or you're a level whatever black mage. You've learned Faraka. It does damage. And it's like, yeah, that's cool. But you gotta give me more than just that. Otherwise, I'm just kind of okay with it. Um... And there's way to, ways to do it. Easiest example I could think of would be like Final Fantasy X, the Sphere Grid or Final Fantasy Tactics, where you're leveling different classes and their associated skills. And some of those are useful. Bringing up a lot of Final Fantasy, I've realized I've been playing almost non-stop Square Enix games for the past, like, three months on my own time, and it's kind of eating my brain. Okay, I don't think I've found any tin yet. That's okay. Do I see any other sparkly? Nah. Let's just go back real quick. See what I can grab. Hopefully I've been mining with my pickaxe. Probably. It looks like it. It'd be pretty sad if I was using my sword to mine. Why is your sword broken? Oops. Pop these open. I, seeing as there don't seem to be any enemies that are just coming for me, I can just kind of do whatever. He's done. I don't know and I'm afraid to hit him. Well, the bomb berry is certainly done. Ooh, that's a lot. Teleports you back to the core. Ooh. Consumed in the process. But what else do we have? Iron ore. Caveling bread. Precious urn. Valuable. A bomb. Let's see what else we have. Those, I'm so glad the stack size is huge. I might have to eat a bunch of bread. Just, I don't want to say out of necessity. Yeah, it is necessity. I guess I could just jam mushrooms in face. But we should also be able to make the cauldron. Which, who knows how what that's even going to result in. Oh, 
Okay, can't mix those together. Palm pepper? Let's see what this turns into. Please don't be a nightmare. I would like to be able to cook good food. Okay, mushy pepper wrap. Alright, in that case, let's grab the bomb pepper seeds. It's... let's go up here while that cooks. I want to build my farm a little closer to the water. Because, yeah, if I can just have really convenient farming locations right next to a, a ton of water, it should make it a lot easier for me to specifically just, you know, water it really quick. We'll want to give it a chest as well. Now I'm thinking about it. I'll put some torches in the corner. I'll want to clean it up way better later, but I'm not entirely sure how much content is even going to be available in the alpha. And... You know, why push it? Okay. There we go. So if I put this in the corner... And the corner. There's my hoe. I'm just gonna... Who cares about rows or spacing? I'm pretty sure I can walk over my crops. And if I can't, I'll just tear it up and make it work for the next time for right now we just want to have kind of a big future proofed farm okay there we go let's eat this here seeing as we're kind of low okay these are assuredly done I think I'm gonna leave this here because these are all my roots. Let's see. I th did I get another heartberry seed? I have no idea. Question. Other question. Oh, my mushrooms. I wonder if I can plant more. Yeah, can be cooked, but can mushroom be plants? No, it doesn't look like it. It's a bit of a shame. Those mushrooms are certainly good eats. Okay, well, what else do we have? Tons of iron. No tin, though. I'm gonna build another pickaxe. Switch this here. Go back to my chest. Put some things away. Not too much heartberry. Oh! Can be cooked is pretty good for me too. Uh, it's yeah, it's just continue on. I'm just gonna keep looking for something useful. I probably have to just range really far out if I want to get what I'm looking for, or comparatively very far out. Just keep looking for. Just keep looking for ten. Okay. Well, on the plus side, the more copper I get, the more I can just go bananas here. Is that tin? No. Another ancient ancient shard. Ooh. Area. Might not have the tin I'm looking for, but might have other things. Okay, I'm not seeing any other sparklies. There we go. Level up melee. Punch some things. See if we get anything useful. A lot of wood at the very least. Bust it all. Give me the goods. What about up here. There we go. I wonder if you can I wonder if you can circle straight around enemies. Oh. What the heck? Ow. 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 Okay, vitality. This whole area got goopy. Which is fine? Fine adjacent. Uh, let's see. 
Make some more torches. I got plenty of wood. I don't like the looks of this thing. And yet it seems to be fine. Okay, let's punch the rest of these crops because I want to take them back with me. We saw the boss. Which is good because if I want to specifically go after him and quote unquote finish the alpha, I can. But I'm really hoping I can find some uh, some tin before I do so. Because otherwise I'm pretty much stuck with the basics. I'm seeing mostly copper everywhere. Anything else? No. Looks like we're good. Now he could be, he could be mad enough at me that he's just coming for me now. Looks like he's pretty chill there until I feel like fighting him. Okay, cool. Well, it's nice to know where stuff is. Can I see if I missed anything? I really appreciate this map, actually. It's quite nice. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this ain't this ain't doing it for me. No, that's that's the sparkles for my torch. We know there's something up here. My big fear with fighting him is these basic slimes are doing tons of damage to me. So I don't exactly want to let them just have full access to my face. Let's just heal off of a mushroom. Uh, do we just go up? Sure. I'm assuming the further out I go, the more likely I am to find tin or iron or other resources. Unfortunately, we are very much at the mercy of RNG level design for where we're going to find some of these things. Okay, cool. It does mark on the map where resources are. That'd be really cool is if the game actually had the sparkles color-coded based on what ore it is. Maybe once you found it the first time. But that would also be too convenient. I was going to say, I was going to call it cheaty, but that doesn't make any sense. Who cares about cheating in a single player and or cooperative game? You know, balance balance is important, yes, but fun is more so. I always be the advocate for fun. The heck is tin? Unless there is no tin. I might just have to fight the the boss with what I got. Okay, let's just is this water or just empty void? I'm feeling probably empty void. Okay, what do we got around here? More slime. I mean, there could always be multiple bosses. I do kind of like the you start and here are the boss totems kind of vibe. That's something that I want to specifically credit to Valheim for starting, but I'm sure other games have specifically done it. Um, I guess you could argue kind of that Dark Souls 3 had the same way. Where it's like, hey, check out these these thrones that belong to these characters that we need you to kill. Oh, Tenor, yes. Well, it was nice while it lasted. Let's just go back around. I don't care too much for these chasms. They're an annoyance. I should have just walked around. Now I'm thinking about it. Because I think what I want to do is just go straight where there aren't any. And see what we can find. I wonder how much of an effect mining levels even have. Because so far it doesn't seem like it's sped me up much. Unless it involves attack speed, which is possible. More meaningless chasms. Oh, but there's a room down here. I gave up just a little too early. I think I 
found mushroom heaven. Okay. Found mushroom heaven. Punch all of these. I don't think I can do anything with the slime on the ground. It's fine. It's never been a focus of mine. There we go. So far, so good. It'd be interesting if you can find the boss multiple times around here. I want to say I'd feel braver if that's the case. Because I don't think I would be. Uh, it's just eat another mushroom. To some degree, it's a limited quantity, so I probably shouldn't be that careless with my usage of it. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to mine my way down until I run out of juice. And then we punch the rest of the way. Oh, well, this is promising quantities of stuff. Okay. Doesn't seem like I have anything else. Oh, gold ore. Cool. But yeah, let's just get back down to one of our straight shafts. I, if I wanted to be really silly, what I could do is actually just mine everything, delete everything. But, no, let's go take our tin back and see what I can do with it. And then, maybe just go cooking. Like, cook some stuff, and then maybe try and fight the boss, just purely with gusto. Oh, my gardening level went up. Alright, let's punch it. Wow, okay. Oh, it's not as helpful. What do we get rid of? Oh, here we go. I just have to make sure I don't eat it. Unless it's a mushroom, but I think it's a big one. And that's probably useful. Giant mushroom. Oh! Oh! Okay. I think I'm I think I'm going to eat this one. It said it can be cooked, which is interesting. Ah, well fed. Cool. Okay, so tin ore. Put in the mushrooms. Let's put in the heart berries. Let's see what that makes me. I'm just going to make food. Then we come up here. If there's a better way to farm than this, I guess we'll find out. I'm getting, I'm getting some more seeds though, which is good. Okay, put these here. empty. Hardly a problem. There we go. Okay, so what else do we have? Tons of copper, but question mark on whether or not it's actually going to be useful. Uh, gosh, I guess I'll smelt it down anyway. Uh, let's see. I need 15 tin bars to do that. Uh, maybe not then. Put away, let's put away some stuff. I don't necessarily know how this foe is going to function. Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of healing. Hopefully it turns out the way I need it to. Grab some of these. A bench. I actually have any copper. There we go. Wait, no. 100% do. Wait. Oh, I put away all my wood. Which, in retrospect, I don't need to do. We are growing this stuff now. Okay, let's make another chest real quick. To start my spare storage up here. Mostly put that away. And maybe the caveling bread just because. Same thing with the shovel. And the slimes. We don't need those. Oh, 
and the watering can. Perfect. It's looking a little better. Now I'm just going to go into this fight with a silly amount of food. Logic is, well, be pretty bad if I ran out of food and health along the way. The rest of those go back up here. Um, oh, put away the copper bars. Yeah, there we go. I don't know where I'm going to find tin. I'm sure if I kept going further, further out, like out here. Oh, but maybe you can't. If there's just the void... probably be fine and if I'm not fine then good it's good content yeah, especially because you know we're, we're getting to kind of the the end of our time here and while I'm having a grand old time playing this I kind of want to wait for the early access release there's a lot to love here but it seems very um, Spartan at least for a moment Whoa. Okay, so I need to get him out of there. What do I lose? Looks like I lost my stuff. But yeah, cannot fight him in his own domain. His own domain is cursed. At least I've got that HP bonus. That should go a long way. But yeah, we gotta we gotta take him further out. Uh-oh. Okay, good. I can move while I've got the map open. Big problem is I'm going to have to go get my stuff. Well, he's potentially chasing me. Okay. Eat this. Kill its slime buddies. Piss him off. Okay. Yeah, because I'm, I'm not going to be able to beat him at all if he's just in Goo Town. Unless I have to. But if I'm lucky, I can get him to fight me kind of on the periphery. It also looks like he leashes pretty dang easily. Is his name Glurch the abominable, abominable mass? It's amusing that the tactics for fighting this guy are virtu virtually identical. Okay, he, he got mad for a bit. No, do not leash, you shit. I was fighting you. I think, one, having friends might help. Two, getting rid of the slime on the ground. I was kind of hoping it would just go away on its own, but it looks like it lasts forever. Which means I need that shovel. I wonder if there's another way of getting rid of it. I, maybe? Oh, but I wonder if I can pick that up and use that as, as slime. There's not a whole lot that needs slime at this point. But at the same time, uh, this is a problem. Yeah, ground slime. Oof. Okay. Well, one way or another, I feel undergeared. I got him close to death, but at this point, it's going to take me a substantial amount of time to even... 
That's gonna take my, me a while to even be able to beat him. I think I'm gonna need to go get a bunch of tin, and I'm gonna need to uh, clear out all of the slime in the area, because as it stands, there's no feasible way for me to get at him. Uh, unless, of course, the floor slime cannot... Um, like, I wonder if... I want, oh, I wonder if wooden floors... If he ignores wooden floors. I... Okay. I gotta check for one more try. Because here's the thing. I can make a bunch of wooden floors. Okay, I can't make as many as I was hoping I could. Let's go back. Last try, and then we're good to go. Or, we're not good to go. Last try, and then the, then we're done. One way or another. Because here's the question. Damn it. Yeah, so I'm going to have to clean up all of this floor slime. It's not the end of the world, but I think I'd be better off pursuing tin first. And I think, like I said, that's going to be something I do for next time. Mainly just because otherwise this is going to take uh, a while. Yeah, I got to put the dirt ground back. It's okay. Bammo. All right, cool. So, like I was saying, the alpha for... Uh, let's see. The Alpha for Core Keeper is available now on Steam. So if you guys want to play this yourself, actually beat Slime Pants over here. Uh, find the tin equipment, maybe even some iron. You know, it seems like you can go a little bit further up the tech tree. Or maybe way further up the tech tree than I have. But, honestly, I feel like we got a good feel for this game. And I really want to come back to this in Early Access once there's more content. Some of the bugs have been smoothed out. Not that we saw any bugs, but you know, they're always there. And hopefully, maybe once the music is a little bit more present. And uh, maybe, just maybe, I would love it if they made it so the slime would slowly go away. Otherwise, this is going to take a long time to clean up, and it's going to cost me a lot of copper to do it. Or, yeah, if I just have a bunch of armor, I might be able to just tank him. We'll see. But, for now, uh, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, hit subscribe, because I got tons of them. Too many of them. But it's all fun. So, with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.